Dubbed by many as the most censored game of all time, the original Final Fight is infamous for the changes made when the title was localized outside of Japan. The game probably does not deserve the horrible honor of being the most extreme victim of censorship, but its edits are still numerous and in places quite severe. This episode will focus on the main platforms that Final Fight has been released for, these being its original arcade release, plus the SNES and Sega CD version. Now, when the game was released in arcades, there wasn't much to raise a fuss over in terms of censorship, but there was still one edit made to the intro, and it's extremely noticeable even to the least perceptive. Instead of seeing nothing but this ugly mug on the TV, in Japan, the feed cuts to our damsel in distress and wearing nothing more than a bra. By the way, this scene also appears in the Sega CD version, and it was censored again, but not as lazily. This time, you can now actually see the lovely Jessica, although she has been made to cover up overseas and wear more clothing. However, as stated, other than this change, the Western arcade release was pretty faithful to the Japanese game. It was with the SNES port, where the localizers began to take the original game design, scrunch it up into a ball, and then toss it out the window. Most of the SNES censorship was in fact also carried over into the later versions. So let's begin with the edits that were made to not just the SNES, but also the Mega CD. The game's first boss was named Damned in Japan, which, while spelt slightly differently, looks very similar to the mild swear word, and so was changed to Thrasher in the West. The character Saddam is a later boss, and one you may recognize from Capcom's Street Fighter Alpha franchise. Not only does their name have religious connotations, but it is also similar to the word sodomy, which is used to describe some sexual activities that we unfortunately won't be describing here. Anyway, their name was changed to Katana. Another religious edit was made to this game's rendition of Capcom's popular Destroy the Car minigame. After pummeling the car to smithereens, the car's owner will appear and cry out this line in the Japanese version. Oh my god! However, the term, oh my god, had to be replaced with, oh my car. Or actually, oh my car. Outside of Japan, as seen here. <laughs> oh my car. Remember folks, this was during a time where Nintendo would remove even the slightest reference to religion overseas with the goal of keeping the Nintendo brand family friendly. Next up is the removal of alcohol health items you can find within levels. Originally, the player could down bottles of both beer and whiskey to recover health. This was of course changed, with beer being changed to root beer and whiskey being creatively replaced with vitamin E. Oh, and apparently the word bar being displayed on the sign was completely unacceptable, but the term club is fine. Enemies even bled over in Japan when attacked with the game's numerous weapons. In the West, on the other hand, the same explosion effect used for melee combat is shown, even when slicing your foes down with knives, katanas, and the like. So, that's bad language, religion, alcohol, and violence that had to be cut out so far. We're missing one other popular source of censorship. That's right, next up is the changes made to sexy content. Even with works of art, such as a statue, Nintendo would not allow the sight of female breasts to occur outside of Japan. They were redrawn in the West to hide their shame. And then lastly, the game's main baddie had the chair they were seated on redesigned. This was probably so that it less resembles a wheelchair. Wouldn't want to promote violence against the disabled, right? This time, a change exclusive to the Western SNES versions. Two black enemies actually had their skin color drastically lightened. Whilst changes like this can be understandable sometimes due to resembling racist caricatures, this does not really seem to be the case here, so it is a rather bizarre edit. Now for probably Final Fight's most famous case of censorship, Roxy, and the one I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, Poison. Many a gamer has been confused by this character you see. This lady might look and feel feminine, but a certain defining characteristic of theirs is in fact very much male. Created with the idea that attacking a female enemy would be rude, and that this could lead to feminist groups in America suing, Capcom thought making these characters transsexual would remedy the issue. For the SNES version though, the transsexual factor did not help matters, and so they were redesigned into fully-fledged men and given the names Billy and Sid. But, and this is a bit strange, this was not the case for Sega's Sega CD release. 
Granted, their outfit was censored in terms of the amount of skin that they exposed, though with the almost copy and paste nature of the other edits made to the Sega CD, it really is remarkable that these controversial characters would not suffer the same fate as the Nintendo releases. Hey, it's Keith and Mike from the Retromancers here, the lovely voices you've been listening to. Yeah, we had a lot of fun doing this for Censored Gaming, and if you like games such as Final Fight, then feel free to check out our channel at the Retromancers. That's right, we do a lot of high quality Let's Plays, picture in picture stuff for retro games. We also have reaction videos to 80s movies, uh, we just did Kung Fury, which has been everywhere over the last week. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We also do some long plays of uh, games like Shadowgate on Nintendo, and also we're in the middle of Goonies 2 right now, which is pretty cool. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Censored Gaming is the definitive resource for censorship and gaming. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest edits and changes in gaming.